fizz. <laughs> okay, well, don't bite the phone. It's like he knows that this video is about him and he's taking it very seriously. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you pretty much everything that goes into taking care of Fizz, my guinea pig. Y'all have met him in a previous video before, um, but I've never really talked about like how I care for him and things like that. I've been wanting to do this video for a few weeks now. Oh, <laughs> there he is, sorry. I've been wanting to put together a guinea pig care video just from the things that I've researched on my own and seen from other people on YouTube. There are a lot of videos um, with really good information on guinea pigs out there. But I also wanted to do this video because I've been getting a lot of comments on my videos from people that, you know, obviously don't watch all of my videos or don't follow me on social media. And so the only thing they've ever seen of Fizz is his old cage that he came in, which was a terrible home for him and they have no idea how big his current home is or they have no idea you know the amount of time and effort I put into taking care of him so just to clear the air and to set the record straight I wanted to put together this video so you guys can see how I care for him so whenever I'm gonna go ahead and clean his cage out entirely and that means like completely taking out all of his bedding and wiping everything down this is normally what I do. I put this huge blanket on my bed and then I set up his little house with his food and some toys so he can keep himself entertained for the time being. I always put this blanket out on top of my actual comforter and stuff that way in case he has any accidents up here, it won't get onto my bedding. And I do this at least once a week where I take everything out and clean the cage completely. Um, I have Saturdays off from work, so this is, you know, what works best for my schedule. But throughout the week, I do make sure to spot clean and remove any soiled bedding and old hay and things like that. That way, not only is his cage clean for him, but I don't have, like, a huge mess to clean up at the end of the week. Okay, so here is what his cage currently looks like at the moment, and I wanted to show you before we started cleaning so you can get a good before and after. Um, I know the lighting isn't the greatest, sorry about that, but you know, you can see little pieces of uneaten hay here and there, and then a bunch of little turd pellets everywhere. No matter how much I spot clean, he seems to replenish all of those little pellets, so he is quite the uh, poop monster, so there's that. So I'm going to start taking out all of his bedding, that way I can wipe down all of the chloroplast underneath. In case you're curious about this cage, I ordered it from the website called guineapigcages.com. They were recommended to me by a subscriber actually, and you know who you are, so thank you very much for that if you're watching this. I was very pleased with this cage when it came in, I was also really happy with the um, shipping process and all of that because it got here a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. I think. From the time I ordered it to the time it came in, it was only like a week, so that's pretty good in my opinion. The only thing that I don't really like about this cage is that, you know, I've never had one of these before so I didn't know what to expect, but this chloroplast on the inside is not at all connected to the grids on the outside, so if you can see, you know, when Fizz runs around and gets up here on the siding, it does have a little bit of a gap here so a lot of like junk tends to collect there so that's my only complaint but really it's pretty good other than that okay so I've just taken out the bulk of his bedding but as you can see there's still pieces here and there so I'm gonna go in with my little handheld brush to get all of the rest of it vinegar mixture to get all of the stains and tough spots out because as you can see you know he does have certain parts of his cage that he likes to go potty in more than others so I have to go in and wipe all of that down so I'm gonna be using a mixture of a cup of water a cup of white distilled vinegar 
and then just a couple of drops of Dawn dish soap to really help scrub those stains out. Okay, so here's what his cage looks like now. This is after I've taken everything out and wiped it all down with the vinegar solution. So now it's nice and clean and I can start putting his new bedding back in. So this is the type of bedding that I always use for Fizz. It's called Fresh World Bedding and it's the original baking soda formula. And what I like about it is that it is made out of 100% recycled paper. I can never find this at Petco or PetSmart. I always end up buying this from a local pet supply store called Pets Barn. Um, I don't know if that place is exclusive to El Paso, but I'm pretty sure it is. So I will find where you can buy this online and I'll have it linked in the description box down below in case anybody out there wants to try this out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So yes, I do use the entire bag of bedding every time I clean this out and I just spread it evenly all over making sure that I cover the whole surface. And so as you can imagine, buying bedding and having to change it out every week can get a little pricey, not gonna lie. Um, so I've been thinking about switching him over to fleece bedding. I've never, ex you know, used that before. I don't have any experience with it. So if anybody has any suggestions as far as fleece bedding and where I can get it and if you recommend it or not, please leave me a comment about it down below because it is something that I've kind of been thinking of getting into. And here we go. Here's what it looks like. Brand spanking new. Boom! Look at that. So now I want to show you the food that Fizz eats. Um, I've really liked the brand Oxbow. They have really good reviews online and if you read their ingredients, like for example on their pellets, um, I don't know where it is, but their ingredient list, um, just like you would do in dog food and cat food, you really should read it for small animals as well. You know, you want to stay away from things like molasses and that sort of thing. So I went through their ingredients list and I was pretty pleased with everything that I saw. So he always has a little bowl of pellets in his cage. He gets a little vitamin C treat every morning. And then he gets this um, hay blends. It's a blend of Western Timothy hay and orchard grass. I used to feed him just Timothy hay, but I decided to give him a little bit of variety, so that's why we have this bag now. Um, but the majority of his diet is still Timothy hay. I just don't remember what the brand of just the Timothy hay was called because I don't actually have it on me right now because we ran out. And then in these little containers are his veggies. So I always give him vegetables every single day. So in this one we have red leaf lettuce. This has chopped up orange bell pepper. And then this one is chopped up radicchio. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely knows that it's feeding time. He knows something's up. I guess we shouldn't make him wait any longer. So once he's done with his veggies, I will then fill this little bowl with his oxbow pellets. But for now, I'm gonna let him focus on the veggies. Um, like I said, this is red leaf lettuce. Dark leafy greens are really, really good for guinea pigs. You never really wanna give them like things like iceberg lettuce because there's just no nutritional value there. And then I'm just going to put some radicchio in there. Again, I don't know if that's how you really pronounce it, so feel free to correct me. And then I just give him a few pieces of bell pepper. I've read that you don't want to give too much at a time because it can cause bloating, and bloating can be fatal in guinea pigs if you didn't know that already. And this is just what he's getting today. Sometimes he'll get a different color bell pepper, or he'll get a different kind of leafy green. Um, he gets carrots every now and then. Certain things you don't want to give too often because they do have a lot of sugar in them. So things like carrots and, you know, blueberries, he gets, but they're more as like treats throughout the week and not like an everyday thing. And for his hay, I used to have a little hay rack for him, but he would get too excited and would like yank it off and the hay would end up all over his cage anyway so I kind of just took that out and I kind of 
now just keep it in a little pile here for him and I clean it every day like I said I do spot clean and I take out all of the wet hay and bedding and the soiled stuff because I don't want you know like any dampness or anything like that in his cage so that's pretty much everything that goes into taking care of Fizz as far as cleaning and food is concerned. The only thing I didn't show you is that I did clean out his little food dish before I put his veggies and pellets in, and of course I gave him fresh water, which happens daily. I've mentioned it before, but I'll say it again now. Fizz is a rescue guinea pig, and no, I did not adopt him from a shelter, but I consider him a rescue because he came to me out of a very bad situation, like Long story short, the people that had him before me were not at all taking care of him. He came to me in that teeny tiny little cage that you've seen in previous videos, and that's the only reason that I had that cage is because it's all I had, really. And the cages that you can find at Petco and PetSmart are not at all suitable for guinea pigs. Let's be honest, they are just glorified litter boxes. It's not something that he should be living in. So I was holding out to find a cage just like this one. So once again, thank you very much to guineapigcages.com and I will have their information linked down below so y'all can check it out. But yeah, it was obvious that he was neglected. He was super dirty. So I took him to work so that our doctors could check him out and we did end up giving him a bath there with some warm water and some Dawn dish soap. But he came to me in that tiny cage with wood shavings as his bedding and it was completely saturated with his pee and poop like i am not joking it was saturated all of his bedding was disgusting and so of course little homie here ended up smelling really bad too so we got him bathed and taken care of he also didn't have anything in that cage the only thing that he had was a tiny water bottle and then this bowl and that's it. He didn't have like his little hutch or anything to hide in. He didn't have any toys or anything. And he was being kept in a classroom. So if you can imagine, this poor scared little guinea pig didn't have anywhere to hide and he was just on display in front of high school students. So that's why I say that he came to me out of a really bad situation and I'm hoping that he is loving his life a lot more now. And the last thing I wanted to mention is, yes, I know that guinea pigs are very social animals and they do better with at least one other guinea pig with them. And I promise y'all I've been looking for another guinea pig for him. The only thing is I don't necessarily want to buy one from a pet store. I don't want to, you know, support that kind of thing. I would much rather find one that's up for adoption. However, I have been keeping an eye out with all of the local rescues and I mean I've been it's been months that I've been looking for a friend for him and I have not been able to find one so if anybody has any ideas um, about where I can find a little friend for him let me know and I do want it to be another male I don't want to have to spay or neuter one or the other and before anybody says you cannot have two male guinea pigs in the same cage yes you can it can absolutely be done and I know this for a fact because there's a channel that I follow called Skinny Pigs One. I will have her channel linked down below so you guys can go check her out. She is amazing. Her name is Abby and she rescues guinea pigs in Canada and takes them in, especially if they have like medical issues and things like that. So a lot of the information I've gotten is from her. I think she is incredible. And she has adult male guinea pigs together living in the same cage at the same time. So if you have any questions regarding that, I highly recommend you go check out her channel. So that is it for this week's video. I'm hoping that this helped clear things up as far as Fizz's current living situation and the kind of care that I provide for him, etc, etc. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. And if you want to see more of this little guy, I do feature him quite often on my social media, especially my Instagram stories. So if you do want to see more of him, check out the description box because I always have all of my social media listed there. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and we'll talk to y'all next time. Bye guys.